What is going on YouTube? Level Zero Gaming here and today we're going to bring you beginner tips for jumping into Escape from Tarkov in 2022. It's going to be a, a pretty baseline, really quick, straight to the point beginner guide. Just a couple of quick tips in case you're getting started. Anyways, let's get to it. Tip number one, get used to the stash, learn how it works, get used to being on the trader menu, how they work, and the flea market when you unlock it. For traders, first thing you're going to want to do is go through all the traders and you are going to want to examine everything that is grayed out. Uh, the reason for this is because it, one, will gain you experience and two, you don't want to have to sit there and try to examine stuff in raid, leaving yourself to being attacked. Get used to being in your stash quite a lot, micromanaging, uh, arranging stuff like Tetris. Here's a couple of quick little shortcuts if you hold a weapon and you want it to flip positions you can tap R and it will go vertical tap R again back to horizontal some weapons that have a buttstock you can actually click your middle mouse button and it will collapse it also when you're inspecting something you don't have to sit there and right click and click examine you can actually just hit your middle mouse button while hovering over set item Make sure you just go through all the traders. It will take a little bit of time. There's a lot of items in this game. Just do it. It will save you time in the long run. And I think if you're brand new starting out, you can actually get a level or two just off of examining everything from the get. Tip number two, get over gear fear. Gear fear is very big. I still encounter it occasionally. But what happens is a lot of people will get a good piece of armor, good weapon, and they'll keep it in their stash and they'll never use it use it the way this game works is every every 8 10 12 months or so the game does what's called a wipe where you basically everybody gets reset back to zero nothing in your stash no weapons no levels all your tasks are you got to start them over the last thing you want to do is hold on to all this gear and never use it and then lose it because they do a wipe so use it, get comfortable with it. it. It's the cycle of the game. You are going to die. Straight up. I am by no means amazing at this game, but I die a lot. I'm dead. Got you, motherfucker. Tip number three. Have fun. This game can be super stressful, super daunting, and infuriating at times but it is a game just have fun with it go out there shoot some scavs get into some firefights with some other players just have fun it's it's a shooter on a side note if you don't like the way the game looks as is or you want to change things around and tweak things to be able to see some stuff better you can enable your post effects and this will change a lot of the the colors and the saturation and the brightness, you know, make the greens pop greener, what have you. These are the settings I run. For me, this makes it easier to see player silhouettes off in a distance compared to other settings. This is my go-to. So if you want to pause the screen here and kind of match your settings to this, it's a pretty good one. Utilize offline raids. Whether you get a new weapon and you don't know how it acts or behaves, you can go into offline raid and test it out. You can get used to the maps, run around, see what's where, and, and you're not gonna lose anything. You're not gonna gain anything, but you don't lose anything. This game has no map in game, so what you need to do is pull up a second monitor or your phone, go to Google, and type in whatever raid you are doing, the map for that. I like to use mapgenie.io. It is the most interactive, friendly map to me. Uh, some people just use the maps that are on Google. Just find what works best for you, pull it up on your phone, pull it up on your second monitor, and over time you'll get to a point where you almost don't even need the maps anymore because you ran it so many times. Like I said, you are going to play this game a lot, you are going to die a lot, you are going to kick your monitor off your desk. I've, I've almost been there myself, but just have fun. This game it just it takes time to get used to how this works this isn't call of duty this this is a mil sim it is very realistic and it's daunting there is a lot to learn a 
huge learning curve, huge experience curve. Just have fun with it. Um, feel free to message, comment, anything like that. If you learned anything or if you found this video helpful, smash that like button, leave a comment, and hit the subscribe if you want to stay tuned and see when we upload more content. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day and enjoy this game as much as we do. See you in the next one.